Hello guys and girls. Uh, this is the really big question time about OTL, OCL equipment. Amplifiers and preamplifiers. Are they for me or they are not? Let's have a look at this <laughs> subject today. So as you know, I, this is what I've been talking about the past couple of days. OTL, it means output transformer less. OCL means output capacitor less. So these are very specialized uh, topologies. And when we are talking about an amplifier, it's the OTL thing that makes the big difference. Uh, uh, that, that's what we call OTL amplifiers. And if it's a, a preamplifier, then the really big thing is the OCS. So there's no output capacitor. And of course you have to add, there's no output transformer either. So basically there's no element of, uh, in one way we can say there is no element that degrades the sound, but on the other way, there's no element that protects your power amplifier. And, uh, and I would say in the amplifier's case, this is uh, a little bit usually easier because uh, there's, I don't really see OTL and OCL amplifiers together. If it's output transformers, there's still an output capacitor there and the capacitor does uh, protect the loudspeaker uh, from, the, uh, from catastrophic failures. But if you have an OTL power amp, that's OCL as well. So they advertise it, ah, oh, there's no transformer and there's no capacitor in the output stage. You're getting it directly. Uh, that might not be the best thing. And it might not be the best thing because it means that there's not, no protection for your loudspeaker. And, and the name for such amplifiers and such preamplifiers is loudspeaker killers. Uh, and that's because uh, if there is a catastrophic failure, and not if, when. Because when there is no, uh, if there is an output transformer, at least that, that provides loading. And, and even if there is a failure, that, that, that failure is not going to happen so rapidly. And even when it happens, uh, due to the transformer decoupling, the event from the loudspeaker, the loudspeaker is going to have a much, much milder uh, ripple reaching it. But when there is no uh, transformer to slow down the, 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 the catastrophic failure, and there's no capacitor either to disconnect the two, then, then it will destroy your loudspeaker. Now, Sometimes uh, this, this can be something really bad for you or, or it can be something that mm, doesn't really affect you. For example, if you are using a modern loudspeaker that, that where the driver has a lifespan of 5-10 uh, years, uh, then, then it's quite likely that your amplifier will not have a catastrophic uh, breakdown that will kill your driver before the, those 10 years are up. Um, but but if, if there's like uh, 10 of you buying uh, uh, OTL, OCL products and plopping down in your systems, there will be at least one or more that's going to fail catastrophically within 10 years, killing your loudspeaker at, in, the, in the process. But if you just do it by yourself, there's a little chance that it will happen to you, but there's a chance. However, if, if that's, uh, that corresponds to the lifespan of your loudspeaker anyway, and it, it, check your surrounds. If it's a butyl surround, so it, it's that, that plastic ring around the cone, then probably it, in 10 years you'll have to replace that anyway in modern speakers. However, if you have uh, uh, drivers which are made to last, for example, you have Altec or, or, or the JBL drivers, uh, like my Altex, they, they have uh, like 50 years on them and they look and function brand new. And 50 years from now, they will still operate brand new. And uh, 50 years from now, there will be 
just probably zero chance to find replacement uh, parts uh, for it even today it's 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 very very hard and very expensive and and when you do a coin replacement there is no guarantee that the sound will remain what it was before so for me or if you use uh, uh, vintage uh, drivers that are built to last forever and then uh, with those i would say do not ever use them with OTL equipment. However, if for you the loudspeaker is secondary, you have not reached the end of your journey in that regard, or, or there's an easy way to replace uh, parts of the driver or the whole driver itself and it doesn't cost an arm and leg, then, then absolutely no problem whatsoever. And also, uh, there is another consideration that... Uh, OTL gear sound radically different from uh, from gear that are either transformer or capacitor coupled. So these these three categories have their own unique sound, and it's not that one is better than the other. What is important is one will suit you better than the other. Uh, OTL sound most likely if you like how transistor gear sounds then you will like OTR gear. If you like how typically tube equipment sounds, then you will by far prefer uh, transformer coupled devices. And even for preamplifier, look for transformer coupled preamplifiers. They will give you the 100% of what tubes can do for you. If you go for capacitor coupling, you are going a little bit towards transistorized sound. And if you go OTL, OCL way, you go way deep into the curve of how a transistor-based preamplifier would sound. Although a very high level at that. So maybe that's what you want. And, and that's then my video will help you steer you towards fulfilling your dreams. And also, uh, a third indication about OTL amplifiers and preamplifiers is that if you are one of those who changes components in your system more frequently than people change underwear and you never tried OTL, then I would say by all means try it because there's a good chance that instead of uh, uh, it, it, it might be, break your vicious cycle of putting up your equipment on Craigslist before you receive the damn package on your doorstep. You might end up like uh, listening to it for a month or two or three months before you decide to, that you are bored with it and you need something else. Because it, it, it presents a, such a different perspective on your sound is that it might fulfill you. Because when you are going through equipment like tissue paper, that's because all of them ha has a kind of a sound that you don't like. And the only way to break that cycle is to look for something radically different. And OTR, OCR, that's it. It's radically different. So thank you guys. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.